Greg, just a few hours away from your testimonial match. Um, first of all, what does it mean to you to have this game played in your honour? Um, I'm incredibly proud. Um, it's kind of a marker of just everything that's gone on in the last 10 years and um, I'm proud of the part I've played in it and, and kind of where the club is at now. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just incredibly proud. Well, let's go back to when you first joined the club. First of all, what were your initial impressions? Um, it was to get here and with the squad that was being signed in that summer, I wanted to be a part of it and um, the aim was to get promotion in that season. So um, first impressions were good. Um, the, the people around the club were brilliant and um, the players were brilliant. So yeah, we, we got off on to a, a good foot. Well, you certainly did a brilliant start, promotion, FA Trophy winners. You must have thought that this footballing life was easy. <laughs> yeah, I did. To be honest, the first season was incredible. And I mean, going to Wembley twice and winning both times is kind of unheard of. So to do it in one season alongside the promotion just made it even more special. Um, so yeah, I kind of just wanted to continue that, really. It hasn't always been that easy. You've definitely had ups and downs throughout your time here. Um, so what is it about this place that means that you, know, you see yourself as such a good fit and why you wanted to continue playing for Cambridge? Um, it's just I feel at home from that first season probably helped. It helped me settle in and, um, and instant success kind of, I'm ambitious. I, I want more success with the club and that obviously came along later on in the line. Um, but yeah, just the people around the club and it's, it's close to home for me. Um, so it's ideal to be at home, living at home and coming into work every day and enjoying it and just enjoying my football. And this was the best place for me. You've changed a bit as a player over the time. Back then, you were a bit of a utility man, able to play a number of positions, flying up and down the wing. But they, they seem a long time ago now. Yeah, I'm glad to see the back of them once, to be honest. Um, yeah, I started as a left back, and I used to get up and down and play alongside with, with Harrison, and he was in front of me, and we've both slightly just dropped down a little bit, and he's playing a little bit further back, and I'm inside now. So um, that transition was always part of my mind, and as I slightly got older, I thought that would be the way it would go. And um, I think it's worked out well, and I've, I've really enjoyed playing that in centre half as well. Well, let's talk a bit about Harrison. How special is it to be able to share this journey with him, one of your best mates I know, and someone who had his own testimonial only a year or so ago now? Yeah, it's, it's, it's brilliant because there's, it's not often that you get to share so much time with certain people and at this club we've got a few people that have been here for six, seven, eight, nine years and you've got the likes of Liam as well and, and Dimmy I don't think is too far behind so um, to share it with them boys and share all these moments and memories together um, it is, it's really good and we do look back on them, some of the good ones, some of the bad ones and have a laugh on the bus sometimes so yeah it's good to have that to share with him. And on your teammates in general you've probably shared the dressing room with maybe hundreds of players in your time here. Yeah. Um, give us a few names who also have meant a lot to you during your time at the club. Oh, that's tough. Um, in my first season, I had a car school with Chris Dunn and Adam Cunnington. We had some good times in the car and, um, yeah, we had a good laugh and it was obviously a good season. So um, to have them two, um, you've got Josh Colson, Will Norris, um, good friends, still keep in contact with them now. They came to my wedding, um, Luke Berry. Um, Obviously, the boys that are here now, Liam and Dunks and, and Dimmy and um, Brophy and Wes. Wes was a big part. So, yeah, it's um, guy he can't be here today, but um, yeah, he's a big part of it as well. Yeah, I heard there were plans for him to come back tonight. There was, yeah. I, I put the offer out there and he did accept it, but he had something to come up that um, he, he couldn't make it. But he's wishing me all the, all the best today. And um, yeah, it's, it's a shame he couldn't be here because I think everybody around the club would love to see him. But um, it's no problem. Might have added a few hundred to the gate as well. Yeah, could have done. Yeah, so cheers for that, Wes. <laughs> um, you're ranked 11th in all-time appearances for the club. Um, that's some achievement and something that must be right up there in terms of your list of um, big reasons to be proud. Yeah, it's quite a lot. Um, I've managed to, whilst I've been here, play a lot of games throughout each season. I, I, I don't get injured too many times for a season. It seems like when I do, it's normally a big one and I miss a, a big part of the season. So um, to achieve that amount of games, I'm, I'm proud of. Um, and half a little bit gutted that I've had two long injuries that I couldn't have got a little bit more. But in, nevertheless, I'm still incredibly proud of it. Right, let's talk a bit about West Ham. I know that you were desperate for them to be the team that you were playing tonight. Yeah, uh, no secret, I'm a West Ham fan and family are big West Ham fans. So if there was ever a team to get to have for this occasion then they were the ones and it's worked out reasonably well that we've managed to kind of align a little bit and, and it's worked out well. What are your earliest memories of supporting the club? 
Um, just going to the games with my dad and getting all the kits, the tracksuits, the West Ham bedroom when I'm like a lot younger and yeah, just having all the stuff and just like enjoying going to watch like a football team and seeing some of the big players. And regardless of everything else, it should be a good test for you and the rest of the team tonight because I hear they're bringing a pretty strong lineup. Yeah, I mean, I'm really grateful for West Ham and David Moyes to bring down like a big side because sometimes they're not too interested in bringing the big boys, but it looks like they are bringing quite a few. And yeah, it will be a test for us. But I think on the same hand, it's quite good for everyone in this dressing room to kind of have an occasion just to enjoy playing football, no pressure and just, um, yeah, go and express yourselves. Right. Thanks for your time, Greg. Have a good time tonight. Thanks very much. Again.